34,000 miles and only 37 and a half hours on the generator. A little 22 foot Chateau Class C just came in here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan on trade. And I gotta say, overall, I'm pretty darn happy with what I see here. Overall, she looks to be pretty clean, pretty well kept. I'm not smelling like dirty people smell. I'm not smelling dogs. I'm not smelling cigarettes. It uh, looks like this is just a, a small little jet setting family rig where they just decided to update, upgrade to something a little bit different that fit them. We've got a seven foot living area that is also carpetless with no floor heating vents, meaning this is very comfortable despite its shorter length. It's got a good feel for a taller person like me. Now where I'm standing currently, as we turn around, you see there's a little step up as you head toward the bed and bathroom area. Even at 6'3", here, actually, why tell you, I can show you. Even at 6'3", I can still stand directly under the ceiling light fixture here and not hit my head. So uh, the extra interior height in here, very, very welcome. Uh, I, I'm really not seeing like a bunch of blemishes and dings on the cabinets and whatnot. All the original electronics appear to be present, even actually upgraded. It looks like they added a Voyager backup camera system to her. So they've actually done some things here that weren't there in the factory standard. Looking around, I don't see any area where there's been anything like leaks. She appears to be uh, good and well maintained. The front over cab bunk right here. Uh, not broke down. You can see how all the uh, the cushions and everything here are still nice and thick. You've obviously got that center section cushion to fill this void when you're in the sleeping position. I also like how there's none of that uh, felt-style carpeting up here in the cockpit area. It's, it's more of an industrial rubberized flooring. So if you're hopping in and out of a gas station and your shoes are dirty, you're not grinding that into your carpeting of the cab, meaning you're not trapping those scents and smells and that stink of a gas station or whatever into the RV. This is very easy to clean. Uh, again, they did add that Voyager monitor backup camera system there. We are in a Chevy chassis and um, what, oh, I'm trying to remember here. I think it has less horsepower but more torque than the Ford chassis. I, I'd have to double check my specs on that. They they each are better in one of the two respective specs, but this should still have a 5,000 pound uh, tow rating. You also do have power uh, heated side mirrors here. So it is easy to tilt those the direction you want and they are heated if you're going to leave in the morning when it's cold. All of our window shades with the exception of the one in the kitchen because of fire code are a nicer pleated shade and they all open for great airflow in here. And I do also appreciate how they never wasted an opportunity for some good storage through this coach right here. Uh, the kitchenette is small but effective. It does what you need to do. And I do like the positioning of that uh, central command center right there, right by the door. You've got some excellent drawer and cabinet space going on in this tiny kitchenette as well. It, you're, 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 you're traveling small, but you're packing large in here. Kind of like if you can see how deep this uh, closet is over there, you've got some very respectable closet space. Now, we've got our master bed back here in the corner, the front overhead cab bed. Uh, could easily sleep one or two more. Plus, we got a full-size true u dinette to sleep one or two more. So this is a uh, two to four to maybe up to six sleeper. Now, back here in the master, the previous owners also added these uh, like aftermarket blackout style uh, pole shades across the pleated nightshades, and that's going to do two things for you. They used a really heavy linen, so there is no sun getting through that thing if you don't want to. Additionally, it'll help keep heat out of the RV in direct sun exposure because the sun just can't get through. And again, they didn't waste an opportunity for good storage anywhere that they could. That taller ceiling here in the bedroom, or bathroom rather, does something that I appreciate and that is gives me extra headroom in that shower. And note how large that vanity is. This has a big vanity so you can keep lots of, well, because if you think about it, you don't have a separate like linen cabinet in here to be able to keep like extra shampoos or body washes or anything. And really, if I'm going to be ultra picky, this is like one of the only, I guess I'd call it, defects or dings I'd put against this one is that the T-molding back here, maybe from just steam exposure, uh, the, the countertop has swollen a little bit, but I mean, that's that's really the biggest knock against this one I can find is that little piece of trim around that countertop right there. And frankly, that's something that you could kind of take a like a rubber mallet, tap back into place with some like uh, gl wood glue or something under that and really keep that held in place a little bit longer. Um, the uh, nose too, not a big tub, an easy step in shower. 
No vents in the floor here as well. So this is carpetless, easy cleaning, kid and pet friendly, and a porcelain foot flush stool to make doing your business simpler and easier. And really there's nothing overly flashy or fancy about this one. This was always built to be uh, a little weekender, base level, entry level, uh, gas class C motorhome. But it does its job well. I mean, there, there's nothing on this that I'm disappointed in. We've got that onboard generator. Gives you the ability to go anywhere and everywhere. The skin and the decals are still gleaming very nicely, which indicates this was kept cleaned and maintained with regularity. I don't see any problems with, like, the tires or anything. I do want to get right up here. I mean, look at the, the sheen and the gleam that still remains right down the side of this. You can see the reflection of this, you know, unfortunate four-letter word we call snow in the background over here. Uh, generator fired right up, ran like a champ for us. I see no irregular wear patterns on the tires. It looks like there's still a fair amount of tread on. They're certainly not brand new, but I'm also not seeing signs of uh, weather checking or anything like that. So overall, the tires look good. Um, that's one of those things, if you've never shot for motorhomes, it's a very good idea to look at the tires because that is a costly thing to replace. Um, again, being on the uh, Chevy chassis in a gas class C, it should have a 5,000 pound tow rating back here. And uh, I mean, overall, like the rear wall doesn't look like it's had any dings where they like had a bike rack in that rear receiver hitch where the bicycle handles smashed against the wall. We do have a power awning over here to make setting and braking camp simple and easy. Ooh, I should watch what I'm doing with the camera. I'm getting way off to the side here. But this is why we have that step up toward the bed bath area because it gives you room for this huge outside storage compartment. One of the things I like about it is that it's right over here on the camp side of the RV where you're going to spend the majority of your time. So your biggest chunk of outside storage, and there are a few other little pockets here and there, but your biggest chunk of it is right there where it's easily accessible. Um, like I said, I, I, I'm not trying to oversell it. I, is it perfectly flawless and without blemish no like I, I showed you that bathroom countertop but is there anything serious costly scary you need to worry about here not that i can discern it appears to be a very solid used option for someone who's a little bit more on a budget like maybe you want to put a boat behind it or a horse trailer or just go to the races for the weekend or something like that or maybe you just like traveling and you don't want one of these 35 foot big rigs you know this could fit a lot of different folks and a lot of different budgets. So give us a call, guys. We do hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery, and everything in between. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot the roof. Thankfully, nothing up here you got to be concerned with. The roof has, like the rest of the RV, obviously been kept cleaned, well conditioned. All the seals look good. I can see a couple little areas where they've done some spot touch-ups on seals, which is excellent. That is what you're supposed to do with seals. That means that there were people who were up here who kept this cleaned, who kept it conditioned. And RV conditioning on a roof is kind of like saying sunscreen for your RV, you know? Um, this has had the type of ownership that an RV is supposed to have. Very, very confidence inspiring given all my experience and things that I've looked at here. Can't find anything that concerns me, so. Once again, <laughs> take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone. For real this time.